So I gotta be honest, I've wanted to carry aquarium lights on my website for the longest time, and it has taken me forever to find the right ones. There's quite a few lights out there that I like, but the problem is the manufacturers either don't wanna sell to us because we're not big time enough, or they're just way too expensive and I wouldn't feel right having something that pricey on our website. But after using all different kinds of lights and testing so many of them for months and months and some of them even years, we have finally found the right ones that are both really good lights, but also very affordable. And that's what brings us to these two lights right here. These are two different types of lights from Hyger that we are making available on our website right now. And today I'm gonna to tell you all about them. Hey folks, it's John with KeepFishKeeping.com. Today I want to tell you all about these different lights from Hyger that we have available on our website. I'm going to show you everything about them, how to program them, how they work, and all of that. And if you decide that you want to get one of these lights, I'd encourage you to please order it from our website. Or if you have somebody else that you prefer ordering from, that's fine too, just as long as it's not Amazon. All right, so the first one that we're gonna talk about is for smaller aquariums, nano aquariums, if you will. These are gonna be good for maybe 15 gallon and smaller tanks. Uh, these are very nice little clip-on lights, which I love. We've been using these in Lisa's fish room for like two years now. We've got 12 of them that we're still using and we've been using them ever since we got them and we absolutely love them. Uh, what I like about these lights the most is simplicity. I'm the kind of person I just like to walk in and flick the switch and the lights on and I don't have to mess with a bunch of other things. Uh, if you like lights that have timers and day night schedules and different colors and all that kind of stuff, well, you're going to want to stay tuned till the next segment when we talk about the, the longer LED strips. But for these, it's a very simple switch on the back of the unit. You either have the blue, which would be your, your nighttime whatever, and then you have the full white lights, uh, which has the blue and the white on. That's all I use. I don't turn the blue lights on at night for the fish. I, I don't know. I've just never been that guy that has done that. I come in, I turn it to the white, and it's full blast, and I love it. These give off quite a bit of light. Uh, they're available in two different sizes. The small, which is about 10 inches, a little shorter than 10 inches, has 30 LEDs in here. 30 of them in there in that little strip. Uh, and that's the small version. And then you have the larger, which if we put the two of them, it's kind of awkward doing this. If you put the two of them up next to each other, I can't really get them on the, the uh, top-down camera there. But uh, significantly bigger, uh, about 14 inches is going to be the size of this one. And that has... 45 LEDs in here. Very good. You could use that on a 20 high. Um, there's all different sizes that you could use that on. What I like about them the most, first, like I said, the simplicity. You walk in, you flick the switch, the light's on, you don't have to worry about anything else. But also, I like the idea of being able to have it up off of the aquarium. It looks nice. It looks kind of modern and futuristic. And uh, you don't have to move it out of the way if you need to do maintenance or something like that, where your LED strips that lay on the, on the top, you'll have to do that. Is it the end of the world to have to move the light? Of course not. But it's nice that you don't have to mess with that. It's, not, it's one less thing in your way when you want to go and do maintenance. But these are as easy as a light can be. You don't have all those flashy options and apps that hook up to it and controls and all, all of that. It's a simple switch. If you're like me and you just like to come in and turn the lights on, then you're going to be good to go with these. Uh, but they're only available in the two smaller sizes. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could get four or five of these and have them go across a longer tank. But really, let's just go ahead and reserve these for the smaller tanks, 10 gallons, 15 gallons, maybe up to maybe like a 20 high. You could use this on. Um, but if it's bigger than that, you're gonna to wanna to move things up a notch and go to the next level of lights that we're gonna talk about. So this is the next level of lighting that we have. This is Hyger's planted full spectrum light. Uh, just like the other ones, 
These are very, very simple, and I like that. At first, when you see the remote, not the remote, but the little switch that it comes with, you might look at that and go, I don't understand it, but it's actually a lot easier than you think. These are very easy to use. They are very, very bright, bright enough to grow plants, and they look really, really good. I've got them in this tank here. I've got four of the 42-inch version on this tank back here. It might not look that bright. That's not the light's fault. It's the tank's fault. I had a couple of giant pieces of driftwood in there that just made the water look like iced tea, and it bothered me so much that I took them out, and I just did a big water change in this thing earlier. It's probably gonna take a week or so for me to get all of those tannins out there, and you'll see how bright that looks. Maybe before I upload this video, that'll be done, and uh, you can see how bright they are on there. But uh, I've got four of the 42-inch lights on there, and they are definitely super bright. You're not gonna have a problem getting enough light out of these. Uh, they're available in, oh geez, let me think, six different sizes. And yeah, that's a lot, and they're all different sizes, so I did have to write it down and take some notes. 14 inches, 18 inches, 22, 26, 36, and 42. That is the size of the actual light case itself, but then of course they do have the extendable little legs on there, uh, like so many other light manufacturers have, so you can extend it out to fit whatever size aquarium you want. Now, when you look at these on the website, I, the, the model numbers don't coincide with the size of the light. So you want to make sure when you select your size, I have on there what size the actual light is. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. You don't want to buy one that's too big. It's better to buy one that's too small and just extend the legs out than it is to buy one that's too big and it hangs over and it looks silly. So definitely pay attention to that. These range in price from the 14 inch, or this is not the 14 inch, this is actually 18 inch, but a little bit smaller than this, $25.99. And the big fellas that I have on here, the 42 inch light, which would be perfect for your 55, 75s, 90s, things like that, those are gonna be $65.99. So you have a really good looking light that's super bright, full spectrum, has all the colors and all of those things. It's programmable. You can't do a custom profile on these, like you can't set it to do what you want it to do. It has preset programs in there for like a 24 hour cycle or a six, 10 or 12 hour cycle. Those are already pre-programmed into the lights that you can do that. That's all included in the, to have one that's at this price that has all of those features, definitely nice. So these are constructed out of aluminum. These are metal lights. They are not plastic and they are water resistant. You're not gonna wanna put this thing in your water, but if it dips in there by accident or something while you're doing some work, you don't have to panic, pull it out of there, and it's going to be just fine. But again, you're not going to want to operate these under the water. Please don't do that. Now these have, it, it, I got to tell you a funny story about these. And it's a funny story that if you order one of these, you will see it for yourself. But the instructions are a little silly with these that come with them because it says they have nine, I think it says nine levels of brightness. Uh, because basically you have a button on here where you push it and it ramps up a little bit. You push it again, it ramps up a little bit more. It goes from 10, it goes from off to 10%, 25%, 50%, 75, and 100. So 10, 25, 50, 75, 100. Five levels of brightness that are on here. But it says nine. Why? Because the way it's, it, it, this is in the instruction book. I'm not making this up. 10%, 25, 50, 75, 100. 75, 50, 25, 10. So the ramping up and ramping down, they count those as all different for some reason. I don't know why they did that. That's kind of silly. I, I laughed out loud when I read that. But anyway, it's just five. Again, 10, 25, 50, 75, 100. Uh, that you can simply adjust it that way if you want, or you can program these, and this is where things are super easy, but they might sound confusing. All right, I just plugged this in, so I, I, this might be a horrible mistake. I just did this a second ago to, you know, once I plugged it in, and now I'm definitely seeing spots, but uh, this is actually full brightness 
here. Uh, it's probably not gonna show all that well on camera, but then uh, we're on the ramp down phase here. So this would be 75. No, we're not. I pushed the wrong button. I promise I'm a professional. We're at 100%. I'm gonna push the correct button now, go down to 75, 50, 25, 10, and then it's gonna go back up to 25. Basically, you have to turn it off at that point. But there's all of the different levels on there. Now, if you, I'm gonna, let me turn this off. Long press of the power button turns it off. Uh, while we're up here, uh, well, I am gonna to have to turn it back on again, but you see there is the timer button here. Uh, this is very difficult to do on camera, but uh, if you push that button one time, you'll see that it has the six blinking. That's going to mean that it's on the six hour timer. If you push it again, that's going to be the 10 hour timer. Push it again, that's going to be the 12 hour timer. Basically what that means is when you set that timer, when you actually push the button and set it, if you set it to six hours, the cycle is going to be six hours. It means basically means it's going to turn off in six hours, but then the next day it's going to come on again at the same time you started it. So the example is if it's noon, you're sitting down for lunch and you're like, I want to set the timer. So you turn it on and you go to six, the six hour cycle. That means it's going to be on and it's going to turn off at six o'clock. It doesn't just instantly turn off. It ramps down. I think it's about a 15 minute cycle that it ramps back down until it's totally off at 6 p.m. If you're if it's noon and you set it to 10 hours, what's going to happen? At 10 o'clock, it's going to turn on. So every day, it's going to turn on at 12 noon and turn off at 10. Obviously, if you did the 12 hour cycle, uh, and you can do this whenever you want, but it's all dependent on when you set the timer, that's where it's going to start. So if you're somebody that wants the light to come on at eight o'clock in the morning, you're going to want to make sure it's eight o'clock in the morning when you set that. And then from that point on, like if you were to set it to the 12 hour cycle, eight o'clock in the morning, it'll ramp up, turn on, go full blast, and then ramp down and turn off again at 8 p.m. Did I just do the math right? If you, no, because that would be eight hours. What are you doing, John? If you had it set to 10 hours, then you, it would come, what am I doing? I Don't do math on video. If you set it at eight o'clock in the morning and you have it on the 12 hour cycle, it would turn on every day at eight o'clock and then turn off again at eight o'clock. I know those numbers are right, but that's how that particular timer works. But it does have the full day night schedule thing going on. If you're into that kind of thing, let me show you how that works. Okay, so the 24 hour cycle with these lights is again, something that's done completely automatically. You don't have to do anything and it is a preset cycle. So basically it starts at about 6 a.m. It'll start to ramp up a little bit and it's gonna start off with orange lights, which is really cute because it's kind of simulating the sunrise. And then it's a gradually gonna ramp up to where it's full spectrum. And I think it's around 10 a.m. is when that happens. And then later on in the day, it's going to start to ramp down and it completely shuts down at 1030. But it's a cycle where it's not full spectrum the whole time. And then it just goes out like the other timer does. This one is where 6 a.m. It starts to gradually come up and wake the fish up and then gradually go back down like the sun is setting to where it's finally with the blue lights and then it shuts down completely at 1030. And again, this is all preset. You, you can't really control that. You can't adjust how bright it is or how dim it is at particular hours uh, like you can with some of those really expensive lights. But again, we're saving some money here. So we kind of get what we get. And it's nice to be able to have that feature on there. This is not a feature that's for me. I like them either on or off. That's just how it is for me. But I know a lot of people like that, just not having to mess with it. And it just does automatic for them. A lot of people like that. And that's what's nice about these. You get something like that, but it's at an, a, a reasonable price. Uh, now, let me show you how this is done. Again, it's very easy to do, but at first you might look at it and be like, huh, but it's, it's really easy. You just, you need to have good eyesight, which I don't anymore. Uh, so I actually had to take a picture of the switch and blow it up because that's how pathetic my eyesight is now. But let me show you how it's done and you'll realize it's, it's very, very simple. 
So basically it goes like this. You've got a bunch of times listed on the 24 seven uh, part of the switch. You've got 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 1500, 1800, and 2200, which is military time. That would be three o'clock, uh, six o'clock, and 10 o'clock, I think. It's been a long time since I've had to do military time when I was on the police department. I think that's the right numbers. But basically what you're gonna do when you go to set the timer, I'm gonna try to demonstrate here for you on the close-up camera. There are, the cord is only so long, so it's hard to do this. There are little lights that are on the side of the button here. And what you push is gonna start blinking a particular light. Uh, and that is the 8 a.m. light right there. And then the next light, okay, come on, is 10 a.m. I'm doing all of this backwards and I'm holding this up. It's very awkward, but if you keep going, you'll see whatever light is blinking, that's gonna be the, what you're setting it at is what time it is now, okay? So if it's 10 o'clock in the morning and you're setting your timer, you will click it until you get the light next to the 10 a.m., right? Now the light knows what time it is. It knows what part of the cycle it needs to be in. It's gonna go to that part of the cycle and from that point on, it's gonna run its course and it's gonna turn off at 1030, like I said, it's going to come back on at 6 a.m. the next day. So that's how you tell this light where we are in the cycle. So again, if it's noon and you set it up, there is a noon button. I know because I have it on my phone here. There's a noon setting. If it's three o'clock, you set it to 1500, um, whatever time it is. Now, if you are, if it's 345, it's gonna be a little bit off, but that again tells you where we are in the process. If you want things to be perfect, you'll set it up at one of those times, either 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., uh, 3, 6, and 10. That's when you'll set the timers on these. Now again, you might look at that and say, well, that's not very convenient. I mean, I gotta sit around and wait for it to be three o'clock. Well, you know what, if, if that's not gonna work for you, then spend $300 on a light that you can program it all yourself and have fun figuring that out. I've tried and it's not very easy. It's not rocket science, but it's certainly not as easy as this. If you wanna save a bunch of money, get a really good light that's super bright and you wanna utilize that function, you just gotta set it at the appropriate time. It's really not that big of a deal. Come on, we're not all that busy, but uh, there are people that are probably gonna look at that as a negative. I, there's always those people, but I don't look at it as a negative. I look at it as for the amount of money you're saving buying these lights, these are, I don't want to use the word cheap, but these are inexpensive lights. And with that savings, you got to push an extra button, quite literally. It's really not that big of a deal. I wouldn't mind doing that if I was interested in a feature like this, which I'm not, but I know a lot of you are. So you, you save some money, you got to take one extra step. No big deal. Now I did want to mention the other buttons here. Uh, basically, if you don't want to use a timer or anything like that, you've got the manual button here, which you push it to turn it on. And I don't know if that's focusing or not. Uh, and then a long press will turn it off. And then you're not on any kind of cycle or anything like that. You just turn that on. You'll know if you're on a timer, if the lights that are next to the timer button or the 24 seven button are lit up, then you'll know that the timer's set. But if all of those lights are off, then you can just use the manual button. I'm gonna be honest, that's what I do. When I come in here in the morning, I walk up to these tanks, I push the manual button and it turns right on and then that's it. I mean, and then at, at night when I'm ready to turn them off, long press, when I say it's a long press, it's like a second and a half. It's not that big of a deal. That's what turns it off. The other button, which is right here, again, it's not focusing. I'll try to get it focused. Come on, girl. There you go. With the little arrows on it, that's gonna be the button that you will use to adjust the brightness when it's in manual mode. The manufacturer calls that DIY mode. Trying to be flashy, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but that's how you're gonna adjust the, uh, the dimmer on it. Uh, 10, 25, 50, 75, 100. 
And if you want to tell everybody that it has nine levels of brightness, then you can say 75, 50, 25, 10. That's real silly, but I don't know. I really don't know why the manufacturer did that. And the language barrier is so difficult whenever I've talked to them about it. If they were to explain that to me, it probably wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Nice people, but when you get things translated and stuff, it all comes out really weird. So I don't know that I'll ever have an answer to that question. But anyway, just trying to add something to the instructions to make it sound better than it is. But you've got five levels of brightness on it. If you want to control it manually, that's how you'll do it. The button is your, your kind of standard circle with a little line above it, power button. And then the manual, uh, the M is next to it, which will mean manual. So yeah, it's, there's four buttons on the remote. It's not remote. Is it a remote? I don't, there's four buttons on the switch uh, and they're, they're all easy to use. But at first you might be like, huh? But all you gotta do is watch this video a couple times. You'll figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. So there you go. Two different lights that we have available on our website right now. There's others that have them too, but you know, I'm hoping that if you appreciate what we do, the videos that we give you on Sundays and these product videos and stuff like that that we give you and the other videos that we give you throughout the week, uh, hopefully you appreciate those. You want to support us. You want to order them from us. That's awesome. We will send them right out to you. But I understand if you got somebody that you prefer ordering them from, that's fine. At least now you know what these lights do and you know what you're getting if you order them from somebody else. And you can tell those people that you order them of from to thank me for selling them for them. Anyway, I look at all other competition. I look at everybody as allies. I don't look at people as competition except for Amazon because I think they're the devil. But uh, Everybody else, the small mom, mom and pop operations like us, I look at them as allies, not competition. So if you want to order from them, you go right ahead. It's not going to hurt my feelings. But if you do want to order these from us, again, these small clip-on lights are available two different sizes, 10-inch uh, and 14-inch, clearly marked on the website. They're the exact same light. They're just different sizes. And the larger one has uh, 15 more LEDs, I think it is, in there because it's a bigger light. It needs that. The full spectrum planted led lights are again i need to look at my notes because there's so many sizes one day i'll have them memorized 14 inch 18 inch 22 inch 26 inch 36 inch and 42 if you want to know what i'm using on that tank right there it's for 42 inch you might think why does it if they can't be that bright if it takes four to light up that tank well that tank is eight feet long and three feet deep so it's probably twice, if not three times as deep as your tank is. And that's why I, I've got a row in the front and a row in the back, because I like to see my beautiful Oscars and my beautiful Severums and bikers that I have in there. Uh, but four lights on that tank does a really good job. And uh, you can buy four of the 42 inchers and it'll cost you about the same money as one four footer of some of the other brands and those other brands are fantastic. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you they're not good. They are amazing. I have some of those too. But you can get four of these for the price of one of those. Might not be as flashy. You don't get the app and all the programmable stuff and all if you're into that. But you get a really good light that's super bright and has the features. It's just a little bit different. Uh, you know, hey, there you go. You can get four of them for the price of one of the other ones. So... Again, if you're interested, everything will be down in the description. And I want you to let me know something. I'm going to ask you a favor. I need your, your help on this. I really love doing product review videos. I love it. It's so much fun to just turn the camera on and start talking. Or in this case, three cameras. I don't think you can see me on this one. I was trying to look up in the... But here's my hand. Hi. I love doing this. I love putting the cameras on and just going without any real script or outline. Just talk about them, let you know how I feel about products. I don't have to only do this about products that we have on our website. Of course, it makes sense to do it on products that we have on our website. But if you like the way I do these product reviews and you like the ones that I've done in the past that don't have anything to do with products that we have on our website, let me know because I may just go out and buy a bunch of stuff and do reviews of those products even if they are not products that we have on our website. Why? because I like it. I don't know. I just like talking about products. 
I'm very easy to please, so I tend to love everything, but, and people criticize me for that. You never say anything bad, but well, if I like it, I'm not gonna sit here and crap on it just to crap on it. Uh, but yeah, even if it's not stuff that we have on the website, I'd be happy to do it. I'd be happy to invest the money into products that I will never use, but I'll use them to test them and then do the product review for you. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments and I'll start collecting a bunch of stuff and let you know how I feel about it if you're considering buying one of those products that we don't carry or whatever. Let me know. I'd love to do it. So anyway, there you go. I've had so much fun making this video. I've done so many other videos on product reviews. We've been talking about it for the last five minutes now. I will put a playlist right here for those videos if you want to see, including a playlist I'll put right here that's all hang on the back filters. If you want to see that, click on that, sit back and watch it. You'll have a good old time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to do this again. Bye.